the American West. Land of cows and cowboys. Wild men and wild horses. It was lawless once, providing shelter to the likes of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Their gang could disappear into a fortress of dead-end coolies, pulling heists in their own backyard. But eventually, the law came and conquered. Today, those boots will be filled by Terry Grant, lifelong cowboy and certified man tracker. There's them four straight lines that we've been following earlier. His posse, local rancher and construction worker, Cash Wynn. I know a little bit about people and what they might do in a certain situation and also uh, about the territory, what it'll dictate. There's some flat areas that are pretty nice, but next thing you know, you drop into one of them canyons and you're dealing with mammoth-sized boulders bigger than houses. And there's places you could hurt yourself or your horse if you try to do too much there. The outlaws for this chase? Robert Provence and Mike Linders, fresh from the wilds of Sudbury, Ontario. Mike's a firefighter. He's used to being under pressure. Well, physical is definitely a big part of it, but it's very much a mental game also, of being able to stay calm in a stressful situation. Rob makes his living behind the lens. It's a great job. I mean, I don't even call it a job. I love what I do. It's kind of like being a rock star who gets out there on stage and does what they love to do. It's like a party. This is what I'm bringing to the chase. My firefighting skills, my ability to make decisions on a moment's notice, very good at evaluation, incident command, got orienteering skills, I'm very strong in that. Mike in many, many ways the complete polar opposite of me. I'm the kind of guy who's more the big picture guy. I don't want to say that I'm not one to plan and prepare, but not to the degree that he does. So I'm a lot more impulsive, a lot more willing to take risks, I believe. One thing these guys have in common is an obsession with fitness. But tireless legs may not be their only ace in the hole. Rob and I may be older than your average prey, but we bring experience. We're not a bunch of young horses running through a field, you know, saying we're gonna get to that goal line. You know, it's not about that. It's about staying relaxed, calm, focused, even under heat. That's the key. Because they are a little older, I, I can expect them to be a little smarter than a 25-year-old guy. Here I got my uh, caffeine shots, snacks, bananas, and uh, I got my disguise, so. They're gonna run, but they're not gonna run as far. They're probably gonna hide a little more and try to stay out of sight, make some ground. <laughs> very, very careful. Chase day. Tracker and guide work towards their designated start to await the flare that begins the chase. No map, no compass. Man Tracker relies on his skill and his guide's local knowledge. There's some canyons up here ahead of us, flat areas on top, and a rough in between. Oh, I hope they take the easy route. Not too likely. <laughs> a mile and a half away, it's getting real. There's a guy in a horse. How'd you find this so fast? <laughs> you guys hunting? No. Oh, good. Thought I messed you up. Friendly in these parts. I hope the uh, man tracker's is friendly. With compass ready, Rob and Mike go over their strategy. Let's get our bearings right. The goal is marked on their map with a getaway car in place. I trust you know what you're doing. <laughs> Line up the grid. He's there my man. You. There go. Yeah, let's go get him. This chase in central Utah spans the cliffs and canyons around Cedar Mountain. The prey have until sundown tomorrow to reach their destination. Man Tracker has to stop them without knowing where the chase begins or ends. I'm lost. Let's handrail it. What we gotta do now is we gotta practice. Where would you run if you saw him right now? Well, our direct out is here. Common strategies is we are going to default from our goal line. We're going to aim off the bearings and make Man Tracker think we're going way off the direction. We got to get on rocks. We got to get rid of our tracks. There's a guy on a horse right over there. Yeah, it's either a hunter or a cowboy. At this point in the game, anybody on a horse is me. It's going to be perfect. We should do a map check soon. Not yet. Pretty hard to get down that canyon. The rocky canyons look like safe haven for the prey. I wonder if a horse can go in that riverbed. 
But without landmarks to guide your path, navigation gets increasingly difficult. You know where we are, right? We're on this trail here. I don't think we're at that clearing yet. Bread in the bed. Let's take our chances going north northwest. Let's go. When I came in here, my confidence level with the compass was fairly strong. Once we got into this mess, going through the canyons, there was a few times that we didn't know where we were. I think Mike's getting us lost. The trackers aren't lost. They've made a beeline across the sagebrush to the flare. There's a bunch of tracks right here on the road. A few scuff marks. Yeah, we got one taken off right here. There's another one there. Kind of almost an upside down heart shape. Looks like they're running, though. Yeah, these all have good toe kicks. We gotta make some time on this downside, because upside, we're gonna be taking too much time. And he's going around. I guarantee he's going around. He did go through there. You're right. Tracks are nice and easy to follow. Yeah, they're pretty defined right here. We're in Hurt Locker right now, dude. We're exposed. All right, Mike, remember the code word if you see him. On me. That means I'm just gonna follow you. Oh, look at that nice little canyon right off the bat, eh? There was a lot of canyons that Cash had talked about. We knew we were going to be kind of going up and down and doing a lot of in and out stuff. Watch that. I'm like a cat. I'm like my buddy Mike. I'm like a cat. Gotcha. That was close. Gotcha, buddy. <laughs> Rob and Mike take full advantage of the terrain and their strategy to go off bearing. This is lost the tracks right there. Where the hell did they go? Rocks. That rock's all kicked out of place. And that stick. This stick has been moved, rolled. Yeah, look at that. There's a part of that tread I've been following right there. Just about walked in there. What the hell? Where are we there, Mikey? You want to cut through that? You want to go uh, two kilometers that way toward him? Let's go here and have a look see. They're probably going to use this canyon. We catch up to them, they're probably gonna jump into there. Tracker's best strategy, parallel the rim. That might push them right into there. I think we'll just stay on them for now. Just gonna take this off because it's uh, getting awfully warm in this. Get on that ridge, get a good bearing, good shot, and uh, high tail. They could have gone down too. You can't see them going down unless they saw us. So we gotta cross there? So we were going that way a while ago. We, we just were... came up that cliff. That's where we backtracked in? No, that's <laughs> back to the start. <laughs> oh, we came up this cliff here, right here. Talk of track. We'll go over the edge. If we don't pick up a track there, they've gone down. <laughs> right? Can't see no sign of them looking out in there. Okay, we gotta bring our volume down now. Yeah, all right, let's go. I don't think they're gonna cross that big canyon. I think they're kind of paralleling down the bottom. Let's catch my breath for a minute. Yeah, let's take breaks, let's take breaks. There, that takes out you. Oh, she's on that cliff. She's gonna go all the way around. If they're gonna kind of keep taking that same westerly direction they've been going, they might hit this and follow down and just jump up over that next little coulee. I'd like to get a glimpse of them, though. There's Knob Hill. That's our objective. That's our reference. I thought I saw something over in here. We've been going about, uh, oh, two hours. But now we've got to cross this clearing. So uh, our plan is run like hell. <laughs> right there. Where did you see it? Right there, and it's by that dead tree. He's going to see the trail. He's going to see us dipping down there. If he never spotted us, he doesn't know we're going that way. He could be anywhere. I don't think he spotted us.
out of here. Taking off right here. I'm like a cat. Gotcha. You know where we are, right? We're on this trail here. I thought I saw something over in here. I don't think he spotted us. Right there. Just over two hours into the chase, and Man Tracker has located his prey. Rob and Mike played the canyon from early on. Now they want out, but there's a horse in the way. I heard a horse. Turn around and look. Turn around and help me. over right there. Stop. They sure got over that fast. Imagine that. Let's we'll see if we can get out there. Throw rocks at him or something. He looks a lot taller standing on the edge of that cliff. Well, they're down there. But we're going to stay high and watch what they do. Make them, uh, let them decide where they're going to go, and then we'll decide where we're going to go. Well, let's go watch a pair of skunks here. Where is it? He's gone. He ain't gone, Robbie. Well, he's, he's going. Right there. He's, he's going to be. He's going to be waiting. With their location pinned, Rob and Mike's only out is deception. Let the horsemen think they're still heading northwest, but change their direction of travel. We didn't want to continue in that direction anymore because he's up on the plateau. He, he was just going to ambush us. We said, you know what, let's bail south. We skirted along and made our way back up with a different attitude. they put up with a whole bunch of dead logs and roots and stuff. Yeah, we got a bit of a problem here. The fence is stopping the cows from coming up. Stopping us from going down. Hug the trees, hug the trees. We need a note. That was kind of sheer luck. We ran into that fence and it actually turned us a different direction. And uh, we decided, well, we're going to loop back and see if we can pick up their tracks behind us. I think we got to either keep heading this way or start taking Hugging the canyon rim will only take them back to the start. They've got to risk open terrain. right here somewhere. They had to go across this little meadow here somewhere. We were thinking, these guys are just lost. They haven't figured out a route yet, or else they think we're somewhere that we're not. I think there's the clearing. They were zigzagging all over the place. If I was the prey coming across right here, I'd be right here. Nice and thick, too open over there. What I think is they may have gone over and hit the edge. Now they're just paralleling along that. Holy. Oh, now we're high. That right there, that's pretty fresh. Yeah, there's a blueprint right there. Look at that stick right there, it's all moved out. Guys are hiding right here somewhere. You know, there's a lot of deadfall. It looks like horses. Okay, you know what, let's skirt trees and trees. We're gonna hit the edge right up here, the rim. Usually you can see a hundred miles of the day. You can only see a 
Which way have they kind of been going all day? Pretty much in a northwesterly direction. Well, we're going kind of south right now, huh? You're right. I definitely heard ours. It don't make any sense. Maybe they do want to hit that canyon and fall off. Do we have a note? We have a note right here. Keep them to... Just pay attention to that horse sound. I think they've gone down and gone that way. Right there. They've gone down. Duck, 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 duck. Don't move. Revanche and Lindrus have stuck with their original strategy to keep the tracker from determining their direction of travel. But an uncrossable fence sent the horsemen right to them, trapping them under a ledge. There's a hiding right here somewhere. the hooves of the horses right off top of us and they were talking. Rob was scraping his pack sack a few times. I was like, Rob, nothing. Don't move. Don't even breathe. How can he get to us that quickly again? We thought we had gotten rid of him for the day or at least a few hours. There they are. It's gone. On the move now. The safety of the cliff underbelly allows the prey to move, but it's no beeline. The twists and turns and ups and downs are killing any chance Rob and Mike have of making it to their halfway point by nightfall. They'll have to come up for air. The best thing we could do at this point is leave them alone, back off, and hope they didn't go too far down. Because if they stayed down in there, we were buggered. We wanted them to get up top and give us a direction to travel and not just hide down there like a pair of squirrels. If they stay over that edge and keep going, is that kind of the direction they've been going all day? No. First we're going north, and now they're going west, and they're zigzagging all over the place. I think he's gone, Rob. I think we got to take a risk and go north. All right. Getting pinned behind those rocks really slowed us down quite a bit. We had to not only avoid capture, we had to make up for lost mileage. All right, we're out of there. Let's get some cover going. That's better. It's getting cool, isn't it? Kind of like deer hunting. You gotta sit for five minutes, wait for them to walk out. terrible feeling to run across the field, which was about a 1.5K. Keep her going, Mike. Keep her going. We were out of breath. We wanted to stop and just sit down or take a break behind somewhere, but we couldn't. Trees, trees. Well, we know they haven't gone this way, so we'll go back down this way and try to pick up the track. Robbie, I didn't, I looked back. I didn't see him falling out. Oh, I get tracks right there. Some nice straight lines in the heel. There's the other one. Right there, right there. Let's get down here. Get 
take advantage of this if we get to that tree line and hide. He'll say, where the hell are those guys? Where are those knuckleheads? But the prey have left a virtual roadmap for the horsemen, and they're closing the gap. It's nice when they leave you big smears like that. Whoa, there's our out right there. This is a good out. He won't come here. That's for sure. We're going across this big open flat, and we're thinking we're getting fairly close. And then we hit this dang fence. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, that's a six, seven wire fence. Well, somebody's horse might cross there, but this one won't. There's no way we can get around the end of that. You know, people on foot can, but we can't. How long is it going to take us to get to the road and back? I bet we can get there in 10 minutes. Good. If we don't get out of here, we're going to be stuck. Well, they're probably stuck close to the rim. I'm kind of angle through here, see if we can cut them off. Go find a note. I'm going to go to bed by now. I think those guys, they could have heard us. Couldn't sneak up on a freight train going through here. up on a freight train going through here. Man Tracker is breathing down the necks of the pride of Sudbury. Rob and Mike are hidden below the cliff edge, but the horsemen are right above them. Just too many damn folds. We can't even get to the edge. We had pretty good tracks back there. Rob, he's, he's just over that ledge. Well, let's go find a place to camp. We'll come back here, pick up their trail, and move on. Another canyon reprieve for Team Prey. Mike, I'm gonna take a beat. I'm gonna be really quiet. We don't wanna give up a position so late in the day. We don't wanna hit the camp. I didn't see him. It's getting very dark very quick. Let's move on. Why don't we make camp here then? Well, let's look around down here. Okay. Base of the cliff. Decent spot to camp right here. Build a fire right there. We got some big trees, a little bit overhang for the night. Yeah, I don't care if I don't see them all day, but I love seeing them last thing at night. We got tracks back here. We know we're not that far behind them, so we're probably within a half a mile right now. It's a full moon tonight. It was raining just a second ago and it stopped. We got the fire department right there. We have a tarp vangled. It was a hard day today. My right knee is aching like a mother. And uh, you know what? It's cold, hard ground, but I think I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight. We're not really sleeping very much. We're just laying here to sleep this day. I guess too much adrenaline. There's that full moon again. Are you feeling a little werewolfy? Well, the weather gave us a good break this morning. Now we'll go back to the canyon rim over there. See if we can find the tracks. Sun's rising. Let the chase begin. Day two, we knew two options. One was we were going to make it down there and eventually decide when we were going to drop into the canyon. I'll keep looking for a way out. Or we were going to encounter a man tracker and be forced into the canyon. So either way, we were going into the canyon. It was going to happen. Rob, 
See that rock? That rock belongs way back here. But there's the boot print right there. It's been since the rain, because this is all different color. That was during the rain. Everything in the middle would be really kind of stuck together and hard. And there's the two tracks right there, side by side. It's our guys, isn't it? Yeah, that's our guys. Not too far behind them. I'm reconning, so I'm closer to the danger zone. Mike's always looking for an out. We're going parallel, parallel. So I'll be, I'll be first contact to the man tracker, and I'll call contact. He'll have an escape route. So we're working in harmony. That's why I got the binos. I don't even want to run in this stuff. It's so frickin' noisy. Hang on, hang on. I don't think they've seen us yet. They're about 60 yards ahead of us. We've got to get across this stupid little trench. There he is. Get it out. They're right there. Right there. Do you have an out? It doesn't matter. He can't get here anyway. How did he get us so fast? Got him between a rock and a hard place. Can we go down there? We're gonna check it out. It sounds hollow. Don't go over it. Don't even think it. Don't. Freaking track is pretty fast. Yeah, I'll let you hold him. Let me go over there. These freaking giggles. Let's take this with me. Is that a note? This might surprise him. I haven't roped anybody on foot before. He's gonna lasso us. Let's go over here. They're just gonna wander around over here. They're pretty much bugs. Okay, they're getting them back on their horses. That's good. He's coming after us. He's right there. We're cornered again. That's what I'd call ledge deer. <laughs> Robbie, got a way out. <laughs> oh, maybe not. This is pretty wide, buddy. This is a wide jump. You can do it. Catch my pack. Whip it, whip it. You gotta come a little closer, because if I fall down, I'm on the edge. Okay, here we go. <laughs> sleeping very much. Keep looking for a way out. Yeah, that's our guys. They're right there. They're pretty much bugs. <laughs> okay, here we go. 17 minutes out of camp, and Rob and Mike are facing their Butch and Sundance moment. Give up or jump over a cliff to tackle the boulders and gullies that descend to Bull Hollow. Okay, here we go. <sighs> I got it. Better have it out. Yes. Did they go over? Well, that ain't much fun, I bet. We ain't going down through there. No way. It'd be like suicide. It worked. I couldn't believe it. Spider-Man. I cut myself. You can hear him talking down there. We make a plan to go. He can't see us. And we gotta we gotta bring the chatter right down. He's up there right now. He's guessing me anymore. We're gonna go. There they are right there. Behind them trees. I hope they stay down there. I'm gonna wear them out quick. Rob and Mike head down to the valley, oblivious to the eyes on their trek, but hoping the horsemen can't follow. Oh, my knee's bugging me. Is that from the jump? Yeah, I think so. I, I heard you land, man. You're just... <laughs> I think I should take some Advil right now. Yeah, take it. Take some Advil. Go in my small pack. 
I can hear them. But there's man tracker. He's looking right at us. He didn't see something down there. Yeah, that rock there that's on a kind of a 45 degree angle there in the tree right behind it. Don't move, Mike. He may not see us. We're behind that tree. We're gonna run out of time, Rob. Let's go. M Mike, I suggest you go down slope. I'm not convinced that he sees us. Yep, yeah, you're moving in the right just nice and slow. Get behind that tree. Come towards us. I can't see him anymore. I'll bet they feel like they're stuck in the middle of a jigsaw puzzle. I mean, you can't see around those rocks or over them, and you're just winding in and out. Okay, get through there. It's amazing here. Let's go down. It's amazing. Just a minute now. About the only thing I know is that they don't want to come up here and meet me. Call it, Mike. We're going this way? Yeah, we're going to take it. Force your legs against the rock. There they are, right there. Yeah, there you go. What in hell are they doing? They've actually come back to us and down <laughs> away from us. Man, that country must be tough if they're doing that. Yeah, I think about a mile down here, there's a good trail that wiggles its way off a point and down into the bottom. That was a tight squeeze. Well, we're going to go over to that trail, sit there and wait for them. If they go to the bottom, we'll go to the bottom. If they halfway, we're going to go halfway. Think about getting on that point down there and just jumping out and ambushing them. Might be a good spot to sit. I think that uh, cow hand is got it's bringing them down some kind of trail guaranteed. So we know that. It's just where, where it's a contact going to be made. Narrow his point. Get on a ridge. Let's begin the mad dash. This is looking pretty good. Keep these horses out of sight, huh? All right. Let's go. Double time. Yep. We can get through a lot of that country over there. Let's take a look, take a look. No sign of him. He's looking over the top of the rock. He shouldn't be able to go more than 100 yards without us seeing him. You know what, I, you know what I'm thinking, Rob? I think we left him way up on the ledge. Uh, wishful thinking. They have not come out from behind those white rocks. No, they're still behind there. Oh, here they are on the flat. They're down on the flat. Oh, yeah. They're running. We better make a move. Their only freaking chance is catch them in the open. Four hours remain for Rob and Mike to make it to their destination. And with a daring play for cover on the other side of the valley, they've left Man Tracker in their dust. As soon as we see them start to run across there, we're buggered. They're going a quarter mile. I got two miles to go. I think we can get down through here. Come on, bud. Get up and over that 
pilot. I think they can. My legs are just like two concrete pillars. If he hasn't spotted us yet, when we did that mad dash, he would have spotted us. At the very, very least, he's making his way down towards the valley. We gotta push him back down from this backside. If I could get up just below that rocky ledge, I'd be happy camper. That's him. He can't get here, Lord. Oh, let's go. There's a bit of a go path right here. That's a deer trail. You know, there hasn't been a deer on it in the last three months. It's relentless. He's right over the ridge. He's right over the right over on the flat ground. No, hey, he's up here. It's all clear up here. Let's go to the other side. There they are, right there on top. I gotta get down. Don't stop me now. The chase becomes a seesaw as the prey counter the tracker's every move. Keep going. On top. How'd he get there so fast? Horse can hear him. They're right below us. I don't think he likes having his picture taken. He was pulling out the prey camp. The guy's got a billy goat. That's not a horse. We gotta keep moving. Right here. Right in these bushes right here. Let's go along the top. See if we can find a place to bust down after him. Uh, we got to keep going down. We have no choice. All we can do in this crap is follow them. We kind of thought, okay, we're going to go to the bottom because that's where they're headed. Eventually, this ridge has to hit this valley. They're going to run out of rock sooner. Later. Well, we got to the bottom. There's no tracks. So now we're buggered. And I, I'm getting really cranky because, you know, I want to I want to see them. I want to chase them. I want to choke a pair of them. Let's go a little bit lower land so we can't see us so often. No, he can see everywhere. He's got the pin on us. We decided to try a different strategy there and split up and each of us take a high point where we could watch the whole end of that ridge and ambush them as they came out. Even if I park my butt, they try to come to me. No sign of them. There he is. He's just waiting there for us. He wants to ambush us. Hey, Cash. Yeah. Just kind of work down that way. I'm just going to go over here, and I'm going to work down that way. It's going now. I'm kind of thinking at this point that I'm buggered. They're going to stay in the rocks, and they're going to walk to the finish line, and I'm not even going to know where it is until I hear the yelling and screaming. It don't matter what I do here. They could sneak down behind me. They could sneak around in front of me. Up, up. You want truck packs? I checked the road and there's no tracks on yet. I don't know unless they're coming back up and over. Here we go. He's going to see us now. Oh, there they go. There they go. They're on the road. Oh, yeah. I thought, holy mackerel, we're in trouble now. And there they are. The trail's probably the destination finish line, and I knew it would be tough to outrun them to that trail. Here he comes. He's got us. In the fence, in the fence. Let's go this way. Stop. Over here. We kind of got him stopped on the far side. There's no yelling, there's no screaming, there's no high-fiving. Looks like you guys have been corralled. I can't see any way out of this. Not done yet. You stay outside, I'll go inside. They're, they're buckered, because, you know, there's nowhere they can go now that I can't get them. How are we gonna get up? I think we're done. <laughs> Where's our out? I haven't got us yet. 
Well, they're gonna get us. There's nowhere else we can go. You know how close we are? To that right there? That white thing. As soon as he said that, it's like, man, you've just sealed your fate, because there's no way you're making it that 100 yards over that hill. I don't want to give up, Rob. Not yet. Oh, he's got you, man. He's too fast for us. I can't imagine. Where are you going to go? Look at him go. There we go. Might as well go for it. So close. I don't know if everybody's seen the movie Platoon. The one soldier that didn't get picked up. He ran for his life. And he, the snipers got him from behind. That was me in that field. The bullet's coming. This is it. I'm dying right in this field. I ain't dying out of that crow. If I had a road 10 more feet without looking back, we couldn't have seen that meadow. If those guys had waited 10 more seconds before they made that last bus down the road, we would have been out of sight. Oh, there they go. There they go. They're on the road. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, on this day, the posse won. Uh, I didn't think I'd be able to go home and face anybody if those, if those guys got away. But to me, it was a big accomplishment. It's going to broaden my outlook on life for whatever other adventures come down the road. I'm going to say, OK, hell, I did that. I can do this. We didn't win, but we did. We avoided him 95% of the day, and that's the way we looked at it. We didn't get the goal, but we won.